what I saw from down within the product world, within the design world, were decisions that I wouldn't have necessarily agreed with. And that fascinated me to understand, well, why is it, right? Why is it that these folks don't seem to make good decisions or actually make what at the time don't seem like good decisions, but longer term actually are great decisions? I was very, very curious. And so I followed my nose to get to where I am now. And yeah, along the way, I've met two types really of CEOs, the founders and I suppose a more traditional career CEO who's maybe they've made their way up through the organization, through product or through finance or through sales to sit in the CEO chair. And they are different. And if you work in product, maybe you've worked with both types of leader, maybe just one, maybe you've had frustrations with one and maybe you've not had frustrations with the other. I'm not sure, but they do differ. Founders quite typically they describe the business as being their baby, which is a little bit dangerous. Let's be, let's be clear, because it's not your child, right? You'd never in an exit or want to sell your child, but you'd happily sell your business. Whereas many founders treat it kind of as an extension of them. The business is an extension of them. And that's great, you know, early on in a founder's career when it's an early stage startup, because all of their energy they're putting in is building a business, which is all about them and the decisions and the choices that they make. 